Here's a menu where you can select the skin or the costume of your character before you play. For example, you can click this one, and then you are that character. Or you can go back to the menu and choose another, and then you become that character. Or you can do the third. Let me show you how to make this. Start on code.org and click Create, and then go to Game Lab for an empty project. We'll start by picking our characters. I'll just grab a few faces. Let's do this one, this one, this one. And let's rename those Skin 1, Skin 2, and Skin 3. Now we need a background, and you can do whatever you want to, but I'm going to make a solid background, and I'm going to resize it to the size of the display area. Zoom out a little bit so I can get to my colors, and maybe this time we'll do a green. And we'll call this Menu. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and draw a menu button. The art is actually the part I'm the worst at. So we're just going to do what we can here. And I'll try to freestyle right menu inside. This is why well, I ran out of space. Uh, that's good enough for me. And then I'll just paint the rest of it white. Okay, so we've got a menu background, a menu button, and three outfits. Okay, now under sprites, we want to go ahead and create a bunch of sprites. We'll do our player, our menu menu button and our three skins. So there's five of them. I'll fill out the names in just a second. Let's go ahead and put draw sprites and uh, background in here. Now let's make the first one our player and then down here in the loop I want to do just some real basic movement. So I'll set the X and Y of the player to the mouse X and Y, and the only reason I'm doing that is because it's the fastest. Uh, whatever control scheme you want is fine. Alright, let's try that. So now I've got my player, and now it's time to make them look like things. Okay, well, let's make the next one menu, and we have some art for that already. So we'll set the animation of the menu to that background. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Mm, not sure why I can't see. Oh, because look, my little player is behind the menu, which is where I want it. Okay, so now we need uh, skin one, skin two, and skin three. And we want those to be in different locations. So let's just set their X values to 100. We'll leave the middle one at 200, and we'll set the next one at 300. And we have art for them as well, so we'll go ahead and put these set animations in here. And we need to change this first blank to match as well. Alright, let's look and see. Okay, they're too big. I should have fixed that ahead of time. Let's set the scale to 0 0.25, and now I'll copy it and do it for the other two. Uh, this is going to be our menu button. Let's put it way back here, above, this, above the menu screen. I'll call it menu dot, uh, underscore btn, and I can go ahead and set the art for that one too. Uh, looks like I didn't name it. See, it's still called animation one, so I'll call it menu btn. And then over here, I'll change this to menu btn. Okay, oh no, look, I forgot to change these to skin one, skin two scale, and skin three scale. I'm just making them all smaller here, so they'll fit on the screen. Okay, so now I've got my three characters. What you're not seeing is my player and you're not seeing my menu button, because I've purposely hid them behind the green menu. Alright, so all this is just set up, now I just need to do a little bit of code to make it interactive. So I'm going to make it where when you press this guy, 
All three characters disappear, the green background disappears, and my character has this look. So that's a lot of things, but it's actually pretty simple. Down here in the draw loop, I'm going to say if mouse pressed over, and this guy's name is skin1. If he's pressed over skin1, I want to, let's actually just uh, move all three of these characters and the green background off the screen. And we'll do that by giving them all an X value of 1,000. You could use Sprite Destroy, but then you couldn't bring them back later. So we'll just do it this way. And then there's one more thing we need to do here. We need to, if they press this first one, we need to set our hidden player to that same image. So let's try it out. If I press this guy, then I become a, ooh, you know what? All right, I need to scale everybody again. So let's, actually we just need to scale player to the same size. Let's try it one more time. All right, so that works. Uh, you could move this menu button to a corner, maybe 350-50, so it's not right in the middle. Let's try it again. Oh, that's better. Now we want to click, uh, make it where when you click menu, it brings you back to that menu screen. So actually, let's do this first. Let's make the other two work. So I'm going to copy this if, paste it underneath, and change this skin one to skin two, and this skin one to skin two, and now this one and this one should work. All right, we'll do it one more time for the third picture. Just change the first two blanks here, skin three, skin three. So now all three of my images should be working. So now we just need to work on that menu button. So I'll copy this again and say if the mouse is pressed over menu underscore btn, then we want to set all these things back where they were again. Okay, so skin one needs to go back to 100, skin two needs to go back to 200, skin three needs to go back to 300, and the menu needs to go back to 200. This part doesn't matter because we won't be able to see the player anyway, so I can take that out. So now I can press the first one and go back, press the second one and go back, press the third one and go back. So there you have a costume menu.